Hello everybody! Welcome to Love Month at Popcorn in Bed. Thank you for being here as always. I'm so excited to watch a movie with you tonight. I am watching Gross Point Blank. This won our romance poll. And I saw some comments who were like, mm, is that a romance? But any movie can be a romance if you root for a love story. <laughs> I knew John Cusack was in this, and I loved him in Runaway Jury. I loved him in Say Anything. I loved him in Serendipity, which I saw before the channel. But I didn't realize Minnie Driver was in this until I just pulled it up, which is so exciting because Return to Me was one of my favorite movies last year. So I am even more excited now. This beat out a lot of good ones. Silver Linings Playbook was in second place. What else was up there? Doc Hollywood, Shakespeare in Love, Moonstruck, Forever Young, Four Weddings and a Funeral, An Officer and a Gentleman, Grump for Your Old Man. I hope to get to all of these rom-coms or romances at one point. I'm just gonna have to use a lot of popcorn pick of the month because usually romances don't win the polls unless it's a poll of all romance, which is what we have here. So I'm excited. I've got some Chick-fil-A Diet Coke, which is the second best Diet Coke. Or is it third? First, McDonald's. Yeah, I think second is is Chick-fil-A. Am I missing anywhere? That's really good Diet Coke. Where were we the other day? It was so crispy. I can't remember. Let's watch a movie. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. Here's my Instagram. Let's watch. I had never heard of this movie before the channel, and a lot of people I've been telling that I've been watching, I'm gonna watch this, have never heard of it. Mostly just my parents. But I think it's a top 50 request on the Patreon request website. It's gonna be, it be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. Hey buddy, I'm gonna watch. Account number 659-34752. Transfer to account 619er-718. I, I want to read you something. I'm working, Marcella. Dear Point High alumni, can you believe it's been 10 years since you left Gross Point? Where are you now? Looking at yearbooks and pictures evokes so many memories. Um. Some bad, but all interesting. Um. Cited. I thought it might be good for you. Open some new accounts. Don't tease me, you know what I do for a living. Oh. <gasps> oh? Okay. What is happening? Martin, where are you? Budapest. Yeah, I see you right there on the bridge of the Danube, kid. How you doing, kid? How are you? What? Kid, I'm putting together a little concern, which would uh, enable those of us in our rarefied profession to avoid embarrassing overlaps. Thank you, no. We could be working together again, for God's sake. And you would be the president of this organization. So they're hitmen. Look, I don't want to play against you. This thing is real. You got a great crew. Everybody's in. Yeah, well, not me, so don't paw me with your dirty little guild. You know, life's full of second chances. Here's chance two for you. You think about coming in with me. You ponder, okay? <laughs> you ponder. Hey, <laughs> bing, 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 bang, popcorn. I should use that. Bing, 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 bang, popcorn. Yeah. So come on back to the old oak tree acorn. High school reunion. You don't seem like, well, your old self lately. Is it the job? I'm invited to your 10 year high school reunion. Time is catching up. Only his tenure? It was just as if everyone had swelled. He's younger than me right now in this I movie? I just find it amusing that you came from somewhere. Bye. She's the best side character. She's a side character in so many movies. Can't name one right now, but she's good. Stop. Please tell me this is a horrible person. <gasps> Whatever it is I'm doing that you don't like, I'll stop doing it. It's not me. Terrible job. 
how do you even get into that? And he has like a regular secretary in an office. Like this is like he's a dentist. Sir, they're very unhappy. He was supposed to look like a heart attack. He was supposed to die in his sleep. Well, he moved. There's nothing to be done about it. Sir, this is a very valuable firm. Come at you. We've done a lot of business with them over the years. They say you've got to make amends. A canary decided to sink. They scheduled his deposition for early Monday morning. You've got to do it this weekend. This weekend? No, impossible. It's in Detroit. You can take care of business and stop by Gross Point for your reading. <laughs> the gods want you to go back home and they want you to delete someone. While you're there. Would you describe their position on this matter as inflexible? Intractable, sir. I booked you on an early flight tomorrow morning. Intractable. <sighs> so could you um, tell Dr. Oatman that I'm on my way? I got invited to my 10 year high school reunion. <sighs> uh, I mean, they all have husbands and wives and children and houses and dogs. And what am I going to say? I killed the president of Paraguay with a fork. I just think it'll be depressing. Shouldn't you be taking notes or something? I'm not taking notes, Martin, because I'm not your doctor. I'm emotionally involved with you. How are you emotionally involved with me? I'm afraid of you. You're afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I don't want to work with you. And yet you come back. That's a difficulty for me. <gasps> I'm very serious about this process. And I know where you live. Oh, and I see. <gasps> You're holding me hostage here. Well, what do you say to other patients? You know, I don't know. How does it work? Ask me how I'm feeling. How do you feel? I'm feeling uneasy, man. <laughs> you might consider, just consider the possibility. Part of the thing that's making you so miserable is the angst over killing a lot of people. Man. I would, I would concur. If I show up at your door, chances are you did something to bring me there. So what do we do? We talk about dreams? Talk about dreams? We can talk about dreams. It's your nickel. I had another one about Debbie. That girl you're obsessed with? What do you think obsessed is a strong word? Uh, recurring dreams of loss and pain for 10 years featuring the same person, yeah. Who's Debbie? Is anyone named Debbie these days? Time is up. Time's up already? Should I go to the reunion? Yes, yes, get out of town. Thank you. Don't kill anybody for a few days. See what it feels like. I'll give it a shot. No, no, don't give it a shot. Don't shoot anything. <gasps> oh. Every, everyone, when he leaves room, was like, oh. Martin Blank, snake the Detroit job from under me. Extension 1715, please. I've got your pigeon for you. Arriving Detroit Airport today. Now, my advice is you wait till he gets the witness, and then you guys do him. <gasps> He's gonna try to kill him? I'm telling you that you never met Martin Blank. 17 months ago, I was posting a walk in Lisbon. He hasn't been in Lisbon since 1990. He's familiar. Well, I tell you what, why don't I take the weekend off and you kill him? Since you two are so close. So weird, talking so casually. Hi, I'm Debbie Newberry. This is WGPN FM Gross Point. You heard from Massive Attack, Public Enemy, Morphine, my personal favorite, and Dwayne Eddy's twangy guitar. This weekend is Points High Class of 86 reunion. In honor of this momentous event, I'm making this an all 80s, all vinyl weekend. Hey, I know everybody's coming back to take stock of their lives. You know what I say? Leave your livestock alone. He's looking at her. Welcome back, pointers. What is their history? Is that where his house used to be? <laughs> his face. What are you doing? I'm doing a double shift. What's it look like? How long have you worked here? A couple months. Yeah? Where do you live? I'm not telling you that. What you, I work here. What are you doing here? I work here. And how long have you worked here? Only a couple months. All right. You all right, man? Freaking sure. out. <laughs> I'm, I'm standing where my uh, living room was. It's not here because my house is gone and it's an Ultimart. You can never go home again, Oatman. I guess you can shop there. <laughs> Pick up. I know you're there, Oatman. He hasn't talked to his parents to tell them they. You guys, you want to wax this guy? Sold Can't their house. Go, 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 go. Never mind that. Find out where my mother is. I want my mom. Damn, Martin. Hey, I did to see you over here. It's not very nice, but what's up? Is she okay? I spoke to your father the other day. I imagine that'd be rather difficult. <laughs> no. They told me you have been taking lithium. Yes. Oh, those blabbing. Silly. We've had some. Laughs, haven't we, Martin? Oh. Mom, what happened at the house and all the money I sent? They stole. Do, do money. It's time for your medication. Um, uh, Nurse Scott. Okay. All right. You're gonna be okay, honey. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is so sad, actually. Oh, you are a handsome devil. What's your name? Martin. Martin. Right. So, the Colonel's lady, like Judy O'Grady, Oh, we're gonna need another call to Dr. Oatman. It's gonna be his dad, isn't it? Open somebody. 
Was that a nice sentiment or not? Martin's back. You can call him for tickets or just show up at Cobo Hall. And doing one of their songs. It's Martin. You're not dead. Hi. Hi. Wow. Who did that? Him or her? How are, uh, how are you? It's good to see you. You look great. How long has it been? Since you stood me up on prom night and vanished without a word? Ten years, I think. Yeah. In California, travel a lot around on business. That's it? Yeah. That's 10 years? Travel around. So what's your business? Professional killer. Do you get dental with that? I gotta go. So you're working. It's a great, I mean, it's a great show. But I'll come back. What are the odds? <laughs> Very funny. Okay, absolutely. They're both so weird, and I really like it. <laughs> Someone has come to me out of the past, reviving a feeling long since forgotten. I know I should be mad, and I am. What's he doing? No clue. He says cryptic things and is gone abruptly again. <laughs> First wife calls will receive a sentimental breakfast from courtesy of the long lost love of my life. The man who is walking right back into the station. OMG. Sit. The long lost love of her life. Let's take a random day. Uh, bring of 86. Two young lovers with frightening natural chemistry. A girl sits in a $700 prom dress. How many people are in this town? They're staying on air? The question now becomes, do I allow you access to me or do I call security? I don't think that'd be a good idea. Come on, Marty. This segues so nicely into my 80s weekend. Should a once broken hearted girl give a guy a second chance? Let's go to the phones. Hi, Debbie, it's Gail. I wouldn't take him back yet. I'd make him jump through some hoops for a while, walk over hot coals. <laughs> I don't think I'd let this guy back in your life. And dude, I'd make him wear that prom dress. I did. So Martin, what, no yellow ribbons? Didn't anybody miss you? Don't you think you should tell her why you're really in town? Thanks, and that was our own Michigan militia. If you love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, it's, well, broken. Now I will. Things are... Marty! Paul, don't leave me hanging, baby. Hey, man. How the hell are you doing? It's him! They were together in serendipity! Sure. And he was the best friend the and corner. family man! Yeah. I've expected you to come back into town in a fennel wreath and paper pants. Is your beamer? Yeah. Guess who I got it from? I have no idea. Bob the Steppolo. Bob the Steppolo sold you a car? Didn't he uh, break your collarbone and steal uh, your woman? <laughs> Lay! For not have been here for 10 years, everyone knows him. Terry Rostan. Terry Rostan. Oh, yeah, from, you were always the guy who was... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember you. Nice badge. Oh, no, 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 I'm not a peace officer. This badge isn't a meaningful symbol or anything. It's just a badge of my company. You know? We don't enforce the law. We just execute company policy for homeowners. Oh. What? Man, when are you authorized to use deadly force? Well, if we find you on the property, you know, we do what we have to do. If I just look suspicious on your customer's property under those, you know, heightened circumstances, you have the authority to shoot me. Correct. Wow. Hmm. I've always felt very temporary about myself. And looking to the two of you in this house, when my time comes, if it ever does, I want a house like this. I want a wife like you. Uh -huh. And you'll be safe here. I don't think they're real buyers, though. I, I don't know if you're qualified to make that statement. No, Terry. I'm just saying they don't look From like... From 11 people. to 3, I show the house, Terry. Well, they don't look like people would use the, you know, live in this neighborhood. Did you neighborhood. get a call, Terry? Someone oh, no, me? I um, I was just driving by and... um. What is this? The okay. thing is, you know, I'm right, more we'll part of this later, neighborhood Terry. than we'll, you we'll are. Get, you know, <laughs> So he's not a police officer? I, I don't usually pimp my friends, but I got a, an excellent piece of property I think you might want to look at. Listen, I got to get something off my chest. Have you been home to see the old house? You poured down in the name of convenience. Yeah, uh, I, I, I brokered the deal. <gasps> Ultimart made the best offer. Well, thank you for profiting on my childhood. Oh, where did the money go? <laughs> she said, I don't do money. <laughs> Debbie's house. Yeah, kind of crept up on you, didn't it? No, you drove us here. Ten years, man! I freaked out, joined the army, professional killer. Oh, does that, do you have to do postgraduate work for that? No, it's an open market. Open market, yeah. that's good, wow. Everyone just thinks he's Joey. Ten years! Ten years! They look a little older than 28. Don't do that. Hey there, how's the sound going? I'll do it tomorrow. 
What's it look like? It's like it always does. Nothing remarkable about it. Nothing remarkable at all. You're taking your time? Something like that. Look, I got a job to do. I'm going to do it, right? He hasn't even looked at the assignment, has he? I've made two spooks in a pool so far. So if they've double booked the job and or they're going to kill me, I'd like to know about it. His living room. Excuse? Why is this guy trying to... Who is this guy even? Look at the Pulp Fiction people. These guys are not very good at their job. Dear heavens. There's been no ricochet or anything? Potato? Is that a potato? It's a bomb. It's a bomb. What'd you do that for? It's not me. You all right? No, I'm not all right. <laughs> no. <laughs> this movie is so weird. I'm wondering how you are, and I'd like to catch up with you if that's possible. I don't know if it's possible. I thought maybe we could go someplace and talk and. We have a Talk all day. Maybe we go to you know the hippo club, say, in 30 minutes. Yeah, okay. Is this uh, live or you know are we being broadcast again? I tend to record everything. You never know. I'd like to explain some things to you and have a good time. I like her confidence. The hippo club. You seem very nervous. No, no, I'm not. It's just. Why do you keep looking over your shoulder? No, I just don't like having my back. It's a habit. You got married. That's hard to imagine. She's done. It's unbelievable. She's married? I think I married him to get away. What was the guy like? Well, he... It doesn't matter. I, same thing happened to me. Yeah, when I joined the army, it's a marriage of sorts. How could you possibly join the army? Did he actually join the army? So listen, I was thinking I could pick you up for the reunion around 7. You were asking me. Unbelievable. Well, you know, what the hell? You know, I'm not even planning on going. I was just going to be mean about him on the radio. I can't think of any reason why we wouldn't go together. And I think it'd be good for you and I'll be on time. Showing up would be a big... What if he doesn't show up? Well, I'll think about it. Really? Oh yeah. My God. Ponder it. Oh, hi. Oh, my. I'll go downstairs, finish my drink, walk to the car, and I'll be back to the hotel in about a half hour. I'll see you there. He knows. How do they know? How does he... That's him. Yeah, we know. We observe the subject in an illegal act. Only then can we intervene. Why don't you just go and shoot the fuck? <laughs> work for the American government. Work for the government? So tell me more about your problems, and I'll tell you about mine, and then we'll solve them tonight. <laughs> Not so fast. You're still in the penalty box. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah? Don't let him back in that easy. Are you happy? Kind of. Really? Sort of. I'll talk soon. Okay. I don't think he's happy. Hello. Marcel, what do you got? Hey, I got the sink from an assistant over Rothschild's. I'm online. What? We've got Steven Lardner, a.k.a. Steve. <laughs> what are they doing here? Well, they're domestic covert operatives for the NSA. They're looking for an Oswald. Patsy to take the fall. Grocer fed them you. Grocer set me up. Well, they were supposed to catch you in the act, but I guess they weren't quick enough, right? Who's the ghoul? This guy is a badass. <sighs> an accomplished amateur with the Basque nationalist. Went pro with a stunning debut aboard an elite Caribbean cruise line. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoys odd, uh, native American <laughs> art, or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is he here for? <laughs> I mean, that's not right, right? You gotta get out of there, right? You're on a flight tonight, right? I'll do it tomorrow. It's fine. Sir, I'm beginning to worry about your safety. I have to go. Yeah, we all have to go sometimes, sir, but we can choose when. No one chooses when. You still haven't looked at the job? So why is the ghoul guy trying to kill him? I know the NSA is trying to set him up. He is obsessed with her. Hey, just stop by. Want to say hi? Can I come in? Unbelievable. It's exactly the same. So you never gave me an answer. He said we talk later. Well, this is later. I figure if we go together, we have a much better chance of getting out of there alive. She's just on the bed. Is that the same bed? Uh-huh. The magic bed. The magic carpet. Does she have a viewfinder next to her? I'll give you an answer if you give me an airplane. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh! Fly. Be free. I'm flying. Be free. <laughs> Sean, are you free? Of course. You can pick me up at seven. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, you can go now. 
We're gonna leave right now. Well, airplane was quite enough. Okay. But this this night, tomorrow night, the reunion is gonna be an important step in our, you know, burgeoning relationship. You're a f***ing psycho. Are perfect for each other. Man, why don't we just do his job so we can do our job and get the f*** out of here? What am I, a cold-blooded killer? I'm not a cold-blooded no, killer. wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. You gotta wait till the bad guy kills the good guy. Then when you kill the bad guy, you're the good guy. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Grocer. Oh, he's brown bagging me today. What's Grocer doing here, too? Who is... Easy there, Chief. ...the target in this town? What are you in Detroit for? The Red Wings need a new goon? Let me tell you about some of our specials. It's Gatsby's West Egg Omelet. And if you're in the mood for something different, there's the I Left My Heart in San Fran Cheesy. Two poached eggs, scrape off the milky white stuff, hash browns well done. Whole grain pancakes and an egg white omelet, please. What would you like in your omelet? Nothing in the omelet. <laughs> well, that's not technically an omelet. Well, I don't want to get into a semantic argument over it. I just want the protein, all right? <laughs> Here's the new stuff, kit. Durazac 15. Makes Prozac feel like a decaf latte. You want a couple of gut jars? I don't do that stuff anymore. Don't say do it, because I don't do it. I ingest it on orders from my neurophysiologist. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Because I was going to have breakfast. I heard about that little blow up at the Ultimart. Hey, listen, I want to work with you. Are you sure Oregon doesn't ring a bell? Something about you doing some wonder dog named Cujo? Oh, yeah, yeah I think they're trying to whack these three junk bond f yeah. And these idiots are flushing game with sticks of dynamite. Little Boudreaux was a retriever. Boudreaux was never a target. Boudreaux was acting on instinct. That would never hurt an animal. The Marks borrowed your client's prize hunting pup. So bad luck for Boudreaux and bad luck for Blank. What? What about those two guys in a Caprice Classic outside? Let me get our relationship straight for a minute. Right? I didn't get into this business having relationships. I don't want to join your union, all right? Does he work for the government? If it'll make you feel any better. I think this is my last job. Put away our guns and have some breakfast, all right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> And after we do your job, we're gonna do another little job. Like I'm gonna put a bullet hole in your fucking forehead and I'm gonna f the brain off. What? Marcella Oban's not returning my calls. I need you to find him right now. I'm already late for the reunion, okay? Okay. Don't you be late. All right, I didn't kill anyone. Uh, except some guy tried to kill me, so if I see that guy again, I'm definitely gonna kill him, but I'm not gonna kill anyone else. I'm on my way to the reunion with Debbie, but I'm just feeling a little anxious. If I still wanna do a phone room. Okay, repeat after me. I am at home with the me. I am rooted in the me who is on this adventure. I'm at home with the me. I'm rooted in the me who is on this adventure. Don't kill anybody. Right. What time is it? Don't bring it. This is not happening again. He's late. How could he? Could he be late? She know you. He knows she has PTSD about this. Flowers. Debbie, you look beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So my dad's down the hall. Okay. He's to say hi to you. Sure. It's uh, Martin Blank. Good evening, Mr. Blank. Sir? I don't know where you've been since you abandoned my daughter 10 years ago, and I don't care. It's good that you left. I'm glad that you did. You've grown up a bit. Did I have you figured wrong? I mean, I hope so. I visualized you in a hay, flannel-wearing, coffee house, misanthropes I've been seeing in Newsweek. <laughs> Let's have a drink and forget the whole damn thing. I'd love to, but uh, we're a little bit late, so I just wanted to say hello. And... What have you been doing with your life? Uh, professional killer. Oh, good for you. It's a growth industry. OK. Good seeing you again. Oh man, this is bringing back some memories of my 10, 10 year reunion. Okay, he's definitely falling for him. Look at him. Her hair looks really nice. No, no, he's using her. What a cruel bastard. Shit, I brought my gun. What? Should be fun. Uh. Take straight to the bar for us. Oh, I'm starting to remember some of these faces. Hey, hello, Martin. Hi. Isn't this great? Yeah. What's happened? What's been happening? Uh, I've been divorced mainly, some property, some personal injury. Those all seem kind of related. <laughs> hey. Hey, I'm going to use that. Martin <laughs> Blankman. Sorry, sorry, man. You slipped. Sorry. It's Nathaniel, all right? All right yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> you gotta say hey to that card, man. Come okay. on, he's right over here. Okay. <laughs> I feel this. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing later? We're going to go outside to the pond and blow the fat one, man. Get so charred and toasted. Just so <laughs> we got <we're> to gotta... <laughs> Why does he sound like Austin Powers? How are you? <laughs> what? what happened? Oh, I was just telling him. It was like I was sucked. Up into the cosmos, surrounded by these yowling, cosmos. nebulous forms. Pardon me? She's so. Who is that? He died and came back. How you holding up, baby? I don't know. How are you? Can't believe you haven't cracked open like a pinata by now. What? Blake. Hi. You look great. It's Jenny Slater. Hey, Jenny Slater. 
with Paul. Paul's for Ricky. And he had 11, have 11 classes with you. Oh. That did. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the old days. What, what we have to do? Drafting? Archery. Sure. Check this out. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. For this. Go ahead. So, high school. How you been? Uh, great. I'm married. Robbie. Wow. Yeah. Aww. People think that when you get married, you lose your freedom. Not true. No. Better and better. How's your life? It's your life. Can you hold Robbie for a sec? No. I'm, I'm going to get his bottle. It's okay. Spend the first year just trying to keep these little guys alive. <laughs> it does something for you. Babies look into your soul like that. <laughs> What's your name? Bobby. Hey, look, it's true if I hold it. No, no. It's so cute. No. No picture. No food. Get a picture. The teeniest, tiniest camera I've ever seen. Oh, I Dan Koretsky, I saw you over at your dad's dealership. Yeah, so BMW is Bob DiCepolo. Sure, sure. Bob DiCepolo. I'm drawing a complete blank. Good one, Bob. I feel I have recurring dreams about you. Did I tell you that? Five nights a week for like six years. Did I tell you that? Did I tell you that? I don't think you're broken. I think Thank you're you. mildly sprained. <laughs> Nothing that can't be mended. Wow. Sorry for f***ing up your life. It's not over yet. Why didn't he show up that night? Do you want to dance? Sure. I don't think that was a kiss. Oh, the nurse's office. I don't feel well. And neither do you. I'm worried. I want them kissing. I'm very worried he's not ready for this. Stop. Too fast. I'm sorry. Something, something's missing. Oh, I know. Welcome home. Oh, welcome back, Pointer. It is I, Sydney Feldman. Oh, been overseas. You have changed. <laughs> it is I. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, you know, there's a few people I should say goodbye to. I'm gonna go cruise by my old locker, and then I'll meet you in front. You're gonna hit that. Sh can. Fine, Bob, how are you? Do you really believe that there's some stored up conflict? So who do you want to hit, man? It's not me. Now, what do you want to do here, man? I don't know what that is. These are my words. See, that's the problem. Express yourself, Bob. Go for it. When I feel quiet, when I feel blue. Really? I like that a lot. I wouldn't, sell the, I wouldn't sell the dealership or anything, but I'm telling you, it's intense. I just want to do some blow? No, I don't. He's gonna run into Sydney. What? This is about the dog or something? They keep having these crazy, intense, like, shootouts, killings with, like, this boppy music playing. It's tripping me out. Oh. It's not me. Oh no. Is that, is that, his, that guy's blood? A thousand innocent people get killed every day. This guy dead? Pull that down. He's a notorious terrorist. Just contract out of my life. Paul's just rolling with it. How is he yeah, ever going to explain this to Debbie? Dear heavens. Oh, this is real life. Um. Eckhart, have you seen Debbie? Oh, man. Paul's burning up in real estate. What do you do, Mark? Say Debbie, tell her I'm sorry. Don't you leave. Hello, this is Dr. Oldman. I am not available right now, but if you'd like to leave a message. Listen, I just want to tell you that I don't want to work with you anymore. Things are going really well here. They're a lot better than expected, and I just don't really feel like you're helpful in any way, and I don't think you're serious about the therapy. And so I want you to take a deep breath and realize that this is me firing you. No people? 
He was gonna kill you, right? Yes. Is it something you've done? It's something I do for about five years now. People joke about the horrible things that they don't do. They don't do them. It's absurd. When I left, I joined the army. My psych profile fit a certain moral flexibility would be the only way to describe it. I was loaned out to a CIA-sponsored program. We sort of found each other. You're a government spook? Yes. I mean, no. I was before, but I'm not now. Blame the dead people. Who do you kill? Do it because you're trained to do it. You were encouraged to do it. And ultimately, you know, you get to like it. He doesn't like it. You're a psychopath. No, no, no. A psychopath kills for no reason. I kill for money. It's a job. That didn't sound right. Oh, boy. If this I is not going well. Chances are you did something to bring me there. And I wanted to see you. You know, I wanted to start over. So I'm part of, I'm part of your romantic new beginning. How come you never learned that it was wrong? That there are certain things you do not do. Everything about you is a lie. You just told her everything. The truth, though. Stay away from me. Oh. Um, Marlene? Are we out of business yet? I'm taking down the office now. Look under your desk. I left a little something for you. It's profit sharing. You deserve it. All right! <laughs> What's your name? It's going to be someone he knows. Show me. Oh. Dad? Keep your head down. Must have done some naughty shit there, Bart. Believe me, I was hired to kill you. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm in love with your daughter. I have a newfound respect for life. That punk is either in love with that guy's daughter or he has a newfound respect for life. <laughs> Dad? What's going on? What is he doing here? Martin saved my life. I was sitting there alone on prom night, and I realized finally, and for the first time, that I wanted to kill somebody. So I figured, since I loved you so much, it'd be a good idea if I didn't see you any. So I was in the Gulf last year. I was doing this thing. Anyway, I came up over this dune. I saw the ocean. It was on fire. And I just sat down, and I watched it burn. I got the sneaking dark suspicion. Maybe there was meaning to life. Don't move. Debbie, I'm in love with you. I know we can make this relationship work. Yeah, I always control my emotions, my feelings. Oh, their poor house. You got him. You got him. Be coming around the mountain when I come. I'll be blowing your fucking head off. I'll be blowing your fucking head off when I come. Why does Grocer have such a team? I know what I do. I think, you know, moral per se. Make this gun work. I'm working on the redemption thing, but... Grocer, let's not! Oh, oh, oh! They really are gonna kill each other? They're having breakfast together. Why don't you just join the union? We'll go upstairs together and cap daddy. This union, is there gonna be meetings? Of course! No meetings. National security! What? Workers of the world, unite! Solidarity, baby! How about I sell you a piece for 100 Gs? Okay, front me. Popcorn! Does that kill him? Is he dead? Oh? I want you to think about this, and you don't have to answer it now. But Debbie, will you marry me? You've got my blessing. <laughs> Some people say forgive and forget. Nah, I don't know. I say forget about forgiving, just accept and get the hell out of town. When I'm a walking, I strap my stuff and I'm so strong out of me go wild. Big hands, I know you. <laughs> I have never seen anything like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What a crazy ride that movie was. It was so weird in an endearing way. John Cusack was born to play that role, I think. It was like dark comedy <laughs> with this, he's literally pew pew, I think I love you. 
Okay, was the therapist the grandpa from Little Miss Sunshine? It was, right? That's who it was? And Dan Aykroyd, it, it, it was... It was like a day in the life of a hitman, but it, he was just so, it was all so casual. Arlene was amazing. The wittiness and cleverness, I really enjoyed the awkwardness of the high school reunion, their random relation, like give me an airplane? Like why is that so weird but so cute? You know? <laughs> I feel like I'm a little in shock. I guess I kind of always feel like that after these black comedies where you're laughing but you feel like you shouldn't because people are dying. You know what I mean? That was, that was fun. That was fun. Do I need more romance for February? Yes. Yes, I do. But that was fun. <laughs> they should both be in more things. And Dr. Omen. And Dan Aykroyd. Okay. Thank you.